Hey, welcome to the Second Year Review. I'm Ethan. Joining me as always is Gary and Roderick. Today we're reviewing the 1987 American science fiction film Predator, directed by John McTiernan. Let's uh, talk about this movie, Gary. Um, it was really good. You can see that Arnold, like it was early in his career, where it's freaking huge. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like right after kind of Conan. Moment. Yeah, it was after coming in, and it was after the first Terminator. Yeah. Oh. I'm here. Do it. Do it now. Yeah. I'm here. Do it now. Come on, kill me. Put the cookie down. I'm tired of these mother snakes on this mother plane. Luke, I'm your father. Ah. <laughs> Drink the <Allah>. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Very nice. <laughs> Put the cookie down. Ow. 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 I am tired of these mother snakes on this mother pie. I don't really do a good Arnold, but if you do enough of them, I yeah. think if you did it for a week, you get stuck. <laughs> and you just be like, where is my paperwork? <laughs> so he was huge, but um, you could see like his... Uh, Acting was still in its early stages, and but this, he did he did well. I would say this is his like first, like, fully lead role where he can actually he's like talking most of the movie. Yeah. Instead of just like ah, one or two, yeah, one yeah. or two. Uh, I'll be back or. Jesse know. Ventura was really good. Arnold yeah, Schwarzenegger yeah. was really good, and Bill Duke was really good. Yeah. So those were my top three favorites in there, and the one liners. From uh, Arnold for the highlight of the movie, like yeah, especially yeah. whenever the he goes in. The whole movie is just one-liners, basically. Yeah. So that was cool. They kind of played him on his on his strings. Yeah. Um, and it had some cool concepts there at the end and everything. Yeah, yeah, it has a lot of uh, cool. Like concepts. with the heat vision and everything like that. What's some of your uh, favorite one-liner scenes? Oh, that whole there's there's one spot in the movie where he takes like four one-liners <laughs> at all. And then he's like, uh, stick around. Yeah, like, stick around. The, the stick around is really interesting. Yeah. It was ad-libbed because the machete weighed like 25 pounds or something. And uh, Arnold didn't want to lug it around the rest of the movie. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and complained about it. And so the Rogers were like, just throw it at somebody. <laughs> so he didn't have to use it the rest of the movie. <laughs> so he threw a 25 pound machete. Just, yeah. <laughs> so he could get rid of it. Man. <laughs> He's like, stick around. <laughs> Which was all him. But uh, I like, I mean, there's the get to the chopper. Which is like the yeah, big one of this cool. movie. I I'm here. I'm right here. I like the the very beginning with the um um what's his name Jesse Ventura. Uh, I don't, I don't have time to bleed. I, that one's great. I don't have time to bleed. Uh, but the sexual tyrannosaurus. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whenever he's some dipping, of this stuff, yeah. he's dipping that stuff. I like the guy that keeps talking about his girlfriend. I thought that yeah, was funny. That guy's really interesting. That's uh, Shane Black. And he's a writer director, and he's the one directing the new Predator movie that's coming out. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. So he has some credit because he was in the original movie. Mm -hmm. Who's your, who your favorite? Yeah. Um, Besides Arnold, I'm assuming Arnold's your yeah. favorite. Yeah, um, I like Billy. My favorite was the Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting about the Predator, he is was very tall because oh yeah, because oh, yeah. Arnold is yeah. like tall. He's six foot. Tall. That dude was like to you. How are to you? <laughs> All right, so but uh, <laughs> Roderick you're not six foot. The guy that I played him <laughs> initially was uh, um, Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, played the who is that guy? Um, Jean Claude Van Damme's on Kickboxer. Yeah! He uh, I know that the name. Splits, Time Cop. Um, what's uh, Kung Fu movie. Kung Fury? No, it's not Kung Fury. Oh, um, yeah. Street Fighter. Boxer. He did that really weird movie. Run for your life! I'll kill you! Okay, uh, no, I, Bloodsport. Yeah, he's in Bloodsport. I have no idea who I was looking for. I thought he was like he, WWE. Him wrestler. and Jesse. Uh, all right, not Are you sure about that? John Cena! <laughs>
be like he he doesn't he's not actually uh, he's, cause he's he in the was movie. Supposed to, he played uh, the predator. He was supposed to play. The yeah, he played. He, he was, did play the predator. Yeah, he was he was the predator for two days, and this is interesting. They had a killed him. chroma that key guy? suit. That's how they did the invisible parts of <laughs> the um, predator. Oh, yeah. They had they built a, a solid red suit that was like oddly shaped that they had to put on. It was thick foam, and it was red because it's completely opposite of the blue sky and the green um, jungle. And they could just chroma key him out as he ran through the forest and stuff. That's cool. But they said the the suit weighed like two hundred pounds. On why body. would they have a two hundred pound suit? Like, why is that necessary? That, that's Cause that's what they had. Gotta have, he probably weighs two hundred. Yeah, pounds. yeah, yeah. He said it was ridiculous. He said, it, and and they're in the jungle. Maybe. Oh. And he said he he passed out like five or six times shooting well, during those yeah, two days. Yeah, if you have a and he found out that they weren't going to show his face or anything in the movie. Uh, that he was going to com- be completely the predator, and so he, yeah. he quit. <laughs> Dang. So they hired this other guy, Kevin Peter Hall. Mm-hmm. He's uh, seven foot two, oh. and he wore the suit, and it was still too heavy for him to yeah. walk around. And so they had to have a cable on his back that uh. kind of like bobbed him yeah. around. I, I yeah. don't know why like they, how they went. faked the moon landing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get Gary Starr with see, that. See, fake moon landing. <laughs> right there. So I, anyway. I don't see how they um, faked the moon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Please God, don't go into that. Um, no, but I don't see how they, or why they would want to take John claude Van Damme, put him in a put him in a suit. This was back when he was like not a very big actor. Oh, he was okay. just starting out. Because there's sometimes that like, People like some of the um, the stormtroopers mm-hmm. were famous actors and yeah. everything. Yeah. And I think like why do they have them in there? Well, maybe? that's an honor to be part of it, oh, so yeah. they don't care. Um, the uh, the Dylan at the very beginning, where uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger comes up and uh, greets um, I forget his name. Mac. Mac, yeah. And he's- Dylan. You son of a bitch. And he's like, rrr, rrr. Yeah. me and a guy work through that all the time. Hey, I got. <laughs> no, it's a Dutch. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah. I got. Yeah, it's Mac. Um, the when he the one liner where uh, the predator finally reveals his, his face and stuff. He's like. Yeah, cool. he, he is. had a cool. Yeah, he is pretty yeah. ugly. Yeah. But uh, they, it was kind of cool how he like um, had the rules and principles of it. Mm-hmm. Like Arnold yeah. didn't have any weapons or anything. So he just like so he like goes and disarms himself. Yeah, the honor of it. Mm-hmm. The the face was designed by the director, but he couldn't decide on whether or not to go with the mask was just going to be what his face looked like, mm-hmm. or the underneath the mask with. Uh, out the mandibles oh and he couldn't decide so he was like looking at it on a plane and James Cameron was on the plane in the seat next to him and he was like you should uh, you should go with that we should go with both of them and make that the mask and put some mandibles on them yeah that's pretty cool yeah oh the greatest um, fun fact about this movie of all time oh how this movie uh, came to be uh oh the directors, um, or the writers, had a joke about the Rocky movies. It was after Rocky Four, I think. Mm-hmm. They were like, um, the only person left to fight Rocky is E.T. <laughs> it's the only person he hasn't beaten. And so they ran with this, and they were what like, the they were going to make a movie where uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone as Rocky was going to fight an alien. And they were going to make this movie, but then it evolved into where they were just going to have a a really uh, macho strong man. macho guy, just one just one person versus yeah. the predator. Uh, and they wrote that it, would have been pretty. They wrote cool. it around that, yeah, like and Arnold or Jesse Ventura, the the uh, Billy character, mm-hmm. the native character. He was the main character through oh. all the writing. Yeah, uh, he was the, going to be the sole guy going against the uh, predator, and he he has cool. like. 
in the novelization, he has he can communicate with his ancestors and stuff, mm -hmm. and um, they give him foreknowledge of uh, how to beat it and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's so yeah, pretty cool. But they like evolved it into yeah. more. But oh yeah. But the greatest thing they should do making future Predator films is Which Predator in the in the xenomorph sixteenth century. Combined. No. Combined they fighting had Predator. pirates. Predator versus pirate. It's already been done in the comics and it's badass. See, I think you should go be, look it up. That'd be like, just you're about, just gonna put pictures right here. That'd be Predator just have about a no, he climbs aboard and uh, he finds a whole bunch of pirates off. And one pirate, uh, they end up getting the best of the predator. And one of the pirates is about to be executed by the other pirates. And he ends up saving the predator. And they fight back to back. And they take out all the rest of the pirates. What the heck? It's and the weird. flintlock pistol in Predator Two uh -huh. is from that pirate. That one right there. <laughs> See that oh, yeah. gun? It's Look all it. right it's here. All... But that, yes. sounds, that sounds like a huge mismatch. But you know they they made they made I don't know if they are honor made. bound, so they like yeah. whatever they don't like try and overmatch them or anything. Yeah. yeah. That was the the coolest thing though in the in the movie I thought whenever he started it, like he realized about the heat vision mm -hmm. and then they kind of they're both kind of invisible to each other yeah. you know, in a way. Yeah. So thought that was the coolest part of the movie. Yeah. Um, Besides the one liners. When this first came out, the critics hated it. They trash talked it hardcore. The like a hardcore yeah. eh, man's yeah. movie. Eh. It's a man's man movie. It is a man's man movie. Sense. Yeah. Which I think that's what the newer movies are lacking is it doesn't have that macho, manly group of guys going against this macho alien. Unless you do it like, something like When you kind of look at all the newer movies, it's yeah. all just like kind of regular guys. Yeah. This. Oh. You know another thing that... What, can, I, what I think they should do is they should just, instead of making the Expendables 4, they should do Expendables versus the Predator. You know another thing that wouldn't happen... Would that today? not be awesome? Cool. You know I another know. thing that wouldn't happen today what? is the uh, tobacco endorsement he did. Like, oh, yeah. I was yeah. sitting there thinking, I was like, gosh, dang, you could not get away with that today. Yeah. You should try some of this. It'll yeah. turn you into a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> a sexual tyrannosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Oh, shit, a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> a sexual tyrannosaurus. Oh, shit, a sexual tyrannosaurus. <laughs> He's coming right for Roger. <laughs> so, uh, let's give our rating. Uh, I'm gonna give this a roll the dice. Uh, six out of ten, uh, beheadings. Beheadings. I've probably used beheadings before. Probably. I'm gonna give it, um, 8.2 out of ten. That's not bad, I liked it. That's pretty dumb. Uh, huge machetes. Mm. Stick around. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten, predators versus pirates. I don't see, like, the Predator would <laughs> destroy those pirates. Go read the comic! Go read it! They should make a Predator versus Alien. Oh, God. <laughs> Review not coming soon. <laughs> but, oh, uh, it is. make it sure is. you like, share, subscribe. Uh, give us all the love. Your money. Give us your money. Good vibes. Yeah. In the form of money. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, we'll catch you next time.